Professor Van Binkelhoff, which is, which is the current situation about the level of antimicrobial resistance. And what do you think? How it is going to evolve? Well, if we rest restrict ourselves to dentistry, um, we could narrow down the problem a little, but let's, let's discuss it in a broader, in a global way. The use of antibiotics has been a blessing for many, many, many people on planet Earth, of course. But as with many things on planet Earth, there's also a downside. The downside of antibiotics is that these microorganisms, bacteria, become resistant and are able now to cause, again, diseases. And we're not talking only about periodontal disease, we are also talking about severe diseases and lethal diseases like tuberculosis. And tuberculosis is, of course, a disease that is around for many, many years. And uh, this is just an example of, of uh, how a good thing like antibiotics can threaten, again, um, uh, human health. If we translate this to periodontal disease, I agree that with that, the that was going to be my question. So w in, within this scenario, do you think it is justified to use systemic yeah. antimicrobials in some periodontitis cases? Periodontitis is a bacterial disease. And it's the bacteria that we fight. So in principle, there is a place, there is room for antibiotics. The question is when and how, and which patient is going to benefit from it. And I think we all agreed in the session that we just shared that uh, antibiotics may be effective in cases with severe periodontitis. And so every dentist can identify a severe case of periodontitis. I also think that antibiotics are always used, should always be used as adjunct I should never replace the basics of periodontal treatment, and that is debridement, biofilm removal. And in many cases, this is more than enough to control the infection. And if we are not able to stop the inflammation, despite appropriate mechanical treatment, we can consider the use of antibiotics. So the, the challenge, actually, is to identify those patients in which yeah. the systemic antimicrobial prescription would, would be crucial Yes. for achieving a successful outcome. Yes. How do you think we will be able to identify those patients? Do, do you think that microbiological testing with new technologies will help us? Oh, I'm, I'm convinced it will help us because microbiological information is the basis for the treatment of almost any other infection in human beings. So as a principle, the answer is definitely yes. Um, but I think we should place the microbiological testing in, a, in what we call a new development here and that is personalized medicine or if you want precise medicine. Each and every individual with, with periodontitis has so many different risk factors and we should take into account all these risk factors in order to render the most effective treatment for this specific patient. So you cannot talk in general about the use of antibiotics, it's always part of a complete story. So that, 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 that's very important because in, in, in the last years it was, that, it was the case that in, in many situations uh, the dentists, the periodontists were prescribing amoxicillin plus metronidazole to any case of aggressive periodontitis. I understand by what you are saying that this is not the right thing to do. I mean you need to identify which of those aggressive periodontitis cases really need the systemic antimicrobial yeah, that would be, that would be and my approach and, and I think that would benefit patients and we should yeah, develop techniques and we are on our way of doing that to identify those individuals that are actually in need of it and never ever use the use of antibiotics as a standard treatment because now the evidence is, is, is coming up showing that there is no scientific basis for that assumption. Uh, and again, I would be in favor of personalized medicine. That's the way I would like to be treated by my dentist, by my periodontist. And I'm not an average of a study. I'm not the average outcome of a study. Um, I have my own risk profile. So I would like to receive the medicines that I need, but I would also like to avoid medicines that would not benefit my health. And there's only one answer, personalized medicine. So it is clear that for systemic antimicrobials, they still have a role, but the use should be restricted. And the restrictions should be based 
on personalized medicine. Personalized medicine will help us to identify those particular patients which really deserve and need the systemic antimicrobial prescription because we are in a very difficult situation in terms of antimicrobial resistance globally. The other aspect is once we have decided to use the systemic antimicrobial, we should use them under the most optimal conditions because it's a privilege that we have, we can use that, but once we have decided to use them, do it properly. I think that is a fair conclusion uh, that we uh, can both describe. Thank you very Thank much. You much.